Come on, how are you doing? Great. Great? Yes, sir. I looked at your vision. How's the eye doing? Very good. Very, very good. Um, yeah, when I came here a few days ago, I mean, like, first when I came here, wasn't, the vision really wasn't good at all. But, like, now I feel like the difference is so, so amazing. I mean, it's great. I feel like I can see really, really good. So. so doctors watching, you all keep seeing patients here from all over the world. This is day one from this gentleman. Um, he's a case of very advanced keratoconus, right eye versus the left eye, correct? And um, this was his presentation, doctors. He came with the left eye having congenital cataract, along with keratoconus with high posterior astigmatism, which we did lens-based surgery, lensoplasty. How's that eye doing? Oh, yeah, very good. Excellent. Right eye was very advanced, so what we did is we put in an intact rings the way I do with my corneal modulation technique, brought him down from 11 feet tall to six feet something, remember? And then a few months later, just yesterday, we put in an Evo ICL, having made the cornea measurable and stable. All right, so we used a visual surgery after structurally correcting him, right? Uh -huh. yes, sir. And how would you rate your vision today? Very good, very, very good. I don't want you to see him this good ever. Oh. And again, guys, he's a very advanced keratoconus case, came with count finger vision. Right now, he's at 20, 40, and 20, 30 without glasses and contact. And this is just day one. But I want to share with you what we did here too, to teach you all. So if you look at him, here he is. This is his right eye in particular. Here he came in with this kind of keratoconus, very advanced, thin cornea, very high regular astigmatism. And when you measure the anterior posterior astigmatism, minus it out with my, the way I arranged the screen, you see 4.8 diopters of astigmatism, irregular. With putting in the ring intact that I did, we brought him down to 2.6 stigmatism, but measurable and stable. That's very important for me to go in the eye, remember? So you see the difference map here. And then we went in yesterday and put in an Evo ICL. You can see the central opening, the aqua flow area. But you can also see the toric nature of this uh, ICL. You can see this mark here. Let me lower the lights for them a little. You can see this mark here at 164 degree axis. You can see the incision of the femto laser for the intact ring that I had done a couple months ago. So you can see the placement of the stage surgery, both done in minutes, both done briefly with drops, and bringing the patient straight to vision freedom without glasses and contacts, despite very advanced care of the uh, It's been a pleasure. Anything you want to say to doctors who keep watching and I keep sharing with them every day? Yeah, absolutely. I really want to say you definitely changed my life, and I really want to thank you for doing this. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Enjoy the vision. Be amazing. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Hello, my name is Ahmed. Um, today's day one, I'm seeing without glasses and contact lens. I came here with an advanced case of keratoconus on the left eye. Uh, and then Dr. Gilani performed um, a lens of plastic on the left to uh, take care of keratoconus and, and cataract. On the right eye, I, I also had advanced uh, keratoconus and Dr. Gilani performed intact lens and then followed with an ICL. So, I'm seeing what our glasses. I'm really, really thankful for um, everything that happened here. I came here, met everybody from all over, all over the world, and then still felt like I'm the only only patient. That I mean, everybody was. I mean, everybody was happy. I'm super, super happy. Thank you, Dr. Glani.